Hey there. I'm here too. Oh. Wow. You look nice. I mean, really nice. I, uh... I hope you weren't expecting me to take you someplace fancy. I mean, there really aren't any fancy places in a backwater outpost like this anyway. Oh, don't get me wrong. If you want to dress up, by all means dress up. I certainly don't mind. There's not a lot of dew around here, so I settled on a picnic. Maybe that's a bit tacky, but I didn't just want to take you to the same tavern we go every day. Come on. I'll show you the spot I found. So, how are things for you? Having any trouble with the locals? You should be fine now that word spread around that we're acquainted. But you let me know if someone does anything stupid. It's really a shame. All the things I like about you, how you're all gentle, sweet, and soft, they're also the things that make you a target. I guess you'll have to stick around with me, eh? Hey, is everything okay? You're always a bit quiet, but not usually this quiet. Do you want to talk about it? You're nervous. Ha! Why? We've been spending time together at the tavern almost daily. All that's changed is the location. Besides, I'm easy to please. All you have to do is smile at me, and it makes my whole night. <sighs> yeah, just like that. You're almost too cute to handle. Aw, it's alright. You're cute when you're nervous, too. I laughed, but honestly, I'm flattered that this night is important to you. You wouldn't be anxious if you didn't care about me, right? So, don't sweat it so much. All you need to do is relax and enjoy yourself. I'll worry about making things go smoothly, yeah? Ah, uh, we're finally here. Sorry about the walk, but there are only a handful of good spots here for a picnic. It being a swamp and all. Hang on, I'll set things up for us. There we go. After you. Ah, it's an awfully nice view. I could just watch it for hours. Hmm? Oh yeah, the landscape's okay too, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so I'm a bit corny. But you know you like me anyways. Oh right, the food. Sorry, I just get so distracted looking into those eyes of yours. Haha, <laughs> fine, I'll stop. For now. Here, I've got us venison sandwiches, roasted vegetables, and elderberry wine. There's also apple tarts for dessert. Oh, uh, no, I didn't really make any of this. Well, I hunted the deer, but that's all, really. You know that one elf fella that always sits in the corner at the tavern? Yeah, he owed me a favor. Heh, <laughs> not very romantic, huh? But I'm guessing you'd rather have something edible. I'm not much of a cook, sadly. Still, I hope it's good. Mmm, not bad. I'd say it's about as good as you could expect, given what little he had to work with. What do you think? Good, I'm glad you like it. There's not much that's better than good food and good company, eh? Oh, except good booze. Let me pour you a glass. I'd say you're looking a bit more comfortable now. I told you, didn't I? There's not much that a meal and a drink won't help. Hmm? 
It's because you feel safe around me. Wow, that... that actually really means a lot. You know, when we first spoke, there was a point where I was sure I'd scare you away. Being big and muscular and intimidating has usually worked out in my favor, but I'd never want to make you feel afraid. Oof, there's a cold breeze coming through. I guess this area can get kind of windy. If you want, you could always sit a bit closer to me for warmth and all that. What? No, of course I didn't plan it that way. I mean, not exactly. I mean, are you going to scooch over or what? There we go. If nothing else, at least I make a good wind block. Although it's sort of a shame. I like the way your hair looks when it blows in the wind. You know, when you think about it, we haven't really known each other for that long. But I already feel like I've known you my whole life. I hope it's not just me. I'm glad you feel the same way. Hey, you still look a little cold. Come here, under my arm. I'll keep you warm. Are you blushing? Aw, so cute. No, no, it's fine, really. I've spent my whole life around tough guys. It's really refreshing to get to know somebody who can be a little vulnerable. You just act how you feel. None of that posturing and chest beating. I'll admit, I still do a bit of that, even when I'm around you. It's a pretty hard habit to shake. Everyone has weaknesses, but when you're raised by orcs, you can't really ever show it. One time, just after my coming-of-age ritual, I let it slip that I was nervous about heights. Suddenly, everyone was taking any excuse they could get me up into high places. They meant well, really. Wanted me to be brave, but from then on, I never wanted to admit to be even slightly nervous. Which is why... I have a confession. The truth is, I was nervous about this date, too. Really. Unbelievably nervous. I keep thinking that I'm going to make you think that I'm an idiot. Or a brute. I mean, I'm both, but I don't want to make it so... obvious. Thanks. It's really funny. How I feel stronger just talking to you than I do bashing heads in at the tavern. That's why I just have to have you. I already can't imagine not being with you. You make me want to carry you far away where no one could ever find us. Just you and me. Oh wait, uh, that, uh, that came out a little wrong. A little wine is all it takes to trash what little tact I have, I guess. But you get what I'm saying, right? <sighs> Good. Good. That's another thing I like about you. You're really trusting. I'm lucky to have someone who doesn't assume that I'm gonna gut them the first chance I get. Truth be told, there's a lot of reasons I'm lucky to have you. You listen to me. You comfort me. You treat me like I'm not just some thug. Sometimes I think you give more to me than I do to you. Well, yeah, I do protect you, but I want to do more. I'm going to work on that, but don't be shy about asking me for things, yeah? I can be kind of thick, so you might need to spell your needs out for me. But I'll do my best to be there for you. But there is one thing I wanted to give you. Right now. The night we first met, you kissed me. Only fair that you get one back, right? 
Do you mind if we just sit here for a bit? I'll take you home whenever you're ready, but for now, I just want to be near you. Thanks. It means a lot to me. You mean a lot to me.